Well, Ollie, you're going into your 29th season, um, covering your class United, the fortunes of the club. All that time, I don't believe you've seen Newcastle win at Old Trafford. Yeah, you're right, Lee. I mean, this is 29th season. It was 1980. How old were you then? 1980, I was three and a half. Yeah. Uh, when I started covering the Fortune Newcastle for the Union Chronicle, the funny thing is, was that I got the job because I was the only one that would get on with Bill Gary, Bill McGarry. He was a bit of a lad, Bill, to, for the want of a better phrase. And uh, they gave me the job, and of course, he got sacked after three weeks, and I'm still here after 29 years. And I'm, uh, I'm just beginning to get the hang of this job, Lee. Just about, yeah, just about that. And you're right, like you say, I mean, I've never, I've seen Newcastle win in the FA Cup, of course, at. Uh, Old Trafford, but I've never seen them win a league game there. Um, and in fact, if my memory serves me right, I remember Peter Jackson putting through his own goal in the first five minutes once. 1972, 73, since Newcastle last won there. I wasn't born. Yes, <laughs> but, but, and it's a big but, I know you were at the Charity Shield at the, at the weekend and you, you came away feeling quite optimistic, didn't you? Well, yeah, man. I mean, Portsmouth, I think the game was there for them to take and then mm. they, they didn't really. They didn't really do it. it was on a, on a plate for them, and uh, I mean the penalties were even worse, by the way. But that's that's another matter. But you know, with Rooney, Ronaldo, and um, the boy Nani out, I think you know there's there's little things we can cling on to there. But mm -hmm. I still think they've got a lot of strength and depth. You know, people like Carlos Tevez mm -hmm. and Michael Carrick. We know we know quite well, and it's going to be difficult. And obviously there's that guy Ryan Giggs as well, who's yeah. still not bad. Yeah, it's funny you should you know you mentioned. Carlos Tevez, we've got Colicini and, and your new best pal, Jonas Guterres, uh, they could be uh, playing against each other on Sunday and then heading off to play for Argentina again. Right, speaking of Michael Carrick Lee, of course, I know you, you, you've done some, you know, you've been very close to him over the summer, you've done quite a quite a, a little bit of work on I know he loves playing against him, Casa United, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Well, he actually said that uh, the 6 0 was his favourite game to play in as a football spectacle mm -hmm. last year. It wasn't much of a spectacle for us. Like. No, no. But um, yeah, so uh, tough opponents all around the park, even though there's people suspended and injured and out, out of action. It's still going to be a difficult game. You know, it's the hardest. I'm glad we're getting out of the way first, to be honest. Mm -hmm. like, the only thing that does bother us is if you do, and I hope we don't, get a, get a hiding or get a heavy defeat, yeah. then it really just. It sets a tone, doesn't it? And then all of a sudden, the pressure will be on to be bolting, yeah. you know. And I know footballers always talk about taking it game by game. Well, we don't. We don't have to take it game by game. We've got to look over mm -hmm. the next next few weeks. And I, I think out the first four games, six points. Yeah, yeah. Tally. Two home games. Yeah. Um, you know, I think you know, much is, is, is it's always difficult. I mean, I swear to Kevin about it on on, on some, uh, Saturday night and. You know, I, I tried to suggest to him even when Newcastle had a great team mm. under Keegan, we still always lost at Old Trafford. But I mean, you know, if you think back to that season, you know, when Newcastle did lose six 0 Michael had that Michael Owen had that goal disallowed did. wrongly for offside, did, yeah. and it was it was nil nil at half time, and that's you know that's when you you start to think. I, I think you know, I still you know, I know I mentioned last week. I th I was beginning to think Newcastle might sneak it in. I mean, people are coming up to me in the office now and, and saying, I think Newcastle might win Saturday on Sunday, but I, I don't think they will. But I don't think, I think they'll put up quite a good show. Well, I'd like to think so. I mean, I know it, it, there's been a few false dawns in the past. I remember Scott Parker coming out once and saying we can win it at Old Trafford. Yeah, and then yeah. we went there and, mm -hmm. you know, it was, good, it was great saying it, but we went there and just rolled over for them and, uh, on that particular yeah, day. Yeah. Um, but when you look back, I mean, I, I was there when the the one one draw when Rob Lee went sort of yeah, yeah. through in the yeah, last minute yeah. I thought this is this is the moment here, yeah. we're gonna get this finally get this yeah. win at Old Trafford and obviously Oli Gunnar Solskjaer had something quite, yeah. to do about right, that. Right. Got applauded off by the Man United fans. Yeah. I, mean, so. I remember getting the goalless draw there on doing when Kenny Kenny Dalglish uh, was manager. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah that, that got in the Champions League that one. Well it was such an awful game I, I wondered whether Kenny and Sir Alex had put their heads together, but we Hi. can't say this on one of these videos. <laughs> of course not. So, you know, let's. Uh, we're certainly going to Old Trafford with a, a bit more optimism um, than we might have been, you know, when we came back from Yorga uh, following the the way they played against PSV and uh, Valencia. Yep, we've all cooled down now, so.